What's up, what's up guys, straight from the chest. Welcome, my name is Justin Groth and I wanna welcome you to my personal development podcast, guys. This is, I think we're on 117 here. Man, we're just flying through these episodes. Guys, thank you for the wills that have continued to give me their support and listening ear. It means the world to me and, and if you're new, welcome. Guys, I'm moving. It's, it's getting close to move day for me. I'm gonna move houses here. Uh, in the next next several days, next week. I mean, we're at, yeah, Saturday. Friday, Saturday, we're gonna move and um, changing locations. And the podcast is gonna obviously change locations too, change rooms. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's it's gonna be a different stroke for me because I've been in my in my residence right now for the last like probably five years. A lot of memories, um, some good some horrific <laughs> but uh at the same time it's cool to move it's cool to experience something new um it's cool to move to a new chapter in my life and and i don't necessarily mean to be that dramatic i don't think it's a new chapter but um it's definitely going to be a new a new environment which is going to probably bring out a different stroke in me you ever notice how the environments will bring out sometimes the worst in you or sometimes the best in you, depending on your environment? And um, I think that that environment is going to breed a little bit better, more refined version of me because it just it's just it's just a little different energy when you walk inside. It's 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 a new it's a new building. It's a new it's a new home. It's um, but anyways, getting off beat here. I'm just excited to move, um, but I'm not necessarily excited about all the, the process. Um, it's a little bit different structure, so I have to, I'm gonna wanna buy new furniture in certain areas of the play, or of the new, of the new town, of the new uh, home, and I'm just, I'm not really looking forward to that, although I am. Um, I don't know. It's kind of bittersweet to be, to say the least. I mean, I'm, I'm happy about moving, but at the same time, or I'm excited at the same time, I'm not, um, just cause of the, the process and all that. Um, but I'm fortunate to be able to hire movers. I'm going to hire movers. Um, I don't care what you say. That's just the most efficient way for me to move for anybody to move. Like just, just pay people to move you dude. I mean, I, at this point, I could rent a U-Haul, I could pay for the U-Haul, and I could I could take a day or two days and move everything. And uh honestly, I just don't want to do it. So um I'd rather I'd rather employ somebody to do that for me. <laughs> That's always been my school thought though, guys. I've always picked people to move for me or hire people to move for me. Uh I just lazy, man. Don't wanna do it. Don't wanna do it. Rather lift weights. Then, then, then move, or rather, sit on my couch and do nothing than move. But uh, that's that's something that I feel like um, you know, it's not a necessity. You don't have to have people move for you, but at the same time, it makes your life so much easier. You can focus on other things. Anyways, again, getting off beat. But guys, let's reel it in. Let, let's let's be real here. When you move, when you move to to a new home, when you move to a new establishment for your business, I mean, things can get mucky if you allow them. And things can get, what I mean by mucky is things can just get, uh, they can get, can, they can get like, uh, uh, the word I'm looking for is not, not, shit, I can't find my word. Basically, what I'm trying to express here is that things can become a little convoluted in the process or you can get caught up in in the rigmarole, all of the details, the fine details of moving. And and, and I think that's the reason why I, I source a, a moving company so that I don't have to deal with any of that. And I can just continuously focus on the things that I'm doing and not get run down by all of the, all of the rigmarole that has to that has to obviously go into the process, you know, the moving and uh, and moving this furniture here and and getting the truck and, and move and, and 
wrapping all my furniture, all my valuables and making sure they have padding and all that. And it's just, it's not just moving like it. If you have a lot of things, it's just, there's a process to it. And so I like to simplify where I can. And obviously this is how, if you have the means to simplify, if I didn't have the means, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I'm fortunate to have the means to be able to simplify and hire movers. But in the process still, I'm thinking about, man, I want to put this here. I want to do this. I want to, I want to have this type of picture. I want to have these types of pillows, all this stuff. I mean, and at the same time, it's, it's, even though it's new and it's exciting, it's not because it's just, it's just more energy that I have to, that I want to throw in this direction, even though it's not that big of a deal. I know what you're thinking. It's not that big of a deal. It's exciting, but it's, I'm getting caught up in all of the, the, the detail oriented stuff and it's causing me to overcomplicate the process. And I do that. I've done that a lot of my life. I mean, I've done that in weight training. I've done that in business. I've done that in all sorts of things. And I think we're also doing it right now in this world. I think we're doing it with the, with the regards of, of the, the virus. I think we're getting, we're getting so stuck in the details and we're not simplifying the process. We're thinking about what's going to happen in the future. We're thinking, and it's natural. It's natural to think that way. It's natural to want to plan out your life. I get it. Something like this is unprecedented and unknown. We can't and shouldn't do that though. And, but we get caught up in the details because the details and the overcomplication, rather, it's something that we don't want to, we don't want to adhere to. It's something that we're drawn to inherently. Us as humans, we're, we're made to be simple, but we think that there's more that we think that there's more production in the complexity of things. If we make them more complex, there's gotta be more productivity to that. There's gotta be better results to that. There's, and it's, the truth is that there's not. There's just over complication when you should be simplifying. And I think that that's reigning evident with where we're at right now. It reigns evident in where I'm at or where people are at when they first start lifting weights. You know, they think that the, the typical process for a youngster going into the lift to the gym and lifting weights and trying to accrue all kinds of muscle is I got to take this supplement. I got to listen to this person, take this supplement, um, uh, eat these many meals, the, you know, partition my foods up to this and, you know, this, this amount of protein, this amount of carbs, this amount of fats. I got to train this way. I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to cycle my training where I'm not training too heavy. I'm not training too light though. So it's like, you just got to start. You just got to start and you just got to eat and you just got to continuously grow and know that you're not going to know everything in the beginning, but that starting the process and not questioning it going through is going to be your biggest impetus. That's going to be your biggest thrust is going to be able, is you being able to disconnect from what complexity is and just keep things simple. And I remember talking on this a long time ago, and I think it deserves the re-entertaining because clearly, guys, we overcomplicate the shit out of everything, thinking that that is the way to be. Because it obviously, if it's if it's more complicated, it means it's more. It, it might be more. Um, it might be more applicatory to a, a, a progressive result. The two have to, the two seem like they coincide in theory, but reality is the simplification of things is where all the progression lies. And if we continuously overcomplicate, we convolute, we convolute. And if we convolute, we end up becoming distorted and diluted in the process. Are you with me? We become distorted in the process. And that creates dysfunction. We think that if things aren't happening on the scale that we're wanting, we're expecting them to happen because we're doing so much, we're going so hard, we can get let down because we're not seeing the progression lie the way we think it's supposed to lie or where we think it's supposed to come. And it's not, it doesn't, doesn't work that way. And if we really get down into it, we can see that the Bible says the same thing. The Bible tells us to trust in God. I mean, there's many, many scriptures that tell us, trust, know that I'm God. That's one. And then there's many like it, but they're basically saying the same thing. They're saying, give faith in, put faith in me, God, put faith in me. I'll take care of the rest. And there's, 
If you want to look up Google those scriptures that, that define that notion, please be my guest. It is the best thing to understand, oh yeah, I just got to bring it back. I just got to bring it back and I can't worry about whatever's in front of me. I just got to be stationed here and I got to be my best where I'm at. And I got to consistently bring down the complexity of everything and bring forth the simplification of everything. Because reality is this process is overly simple, but you're just complicating it. You're just complicating it and you're allowing things to come in that shouldn't be in. And that's called convolution in my, in my, in my expression. And then after the convolution, then there comes distortment because now you can't discern what is, what is supposed to be here and what shouldn't be here. There's a, there's a refining process that take, that should take place. And there's really some glory and some progression associated with the refining process. Most of the time, it's not about adding things. It's about refining things instead. And we do the opposite. We, we don't do the former. We do the latter. We do, we do the addition of more things. We think that that is going to lead to more progression, more results, more. <laughs> it's, it's ironic to think that that would, that would, that if we add more in, we make a better result when really we're actually distorting ourselves and we're, we're becoming more distracted by what, what we should be focused on, which is the bare bones, the essentials, the simplification of, of living, the simplification of understanding and, and giving faith and having faith and, and, and really just honing in on what that means. What does that mean to you? Because to me, that means if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be a human and if I'm gonna be my best, I need to focus on the things, the areas that I can, the things that I can't attack and let the things that I can't be to God. I can't control what's going on in the world. I can't control what's going on with the government. I can't control what's going on with the president. I can't control. And because I can't control, I don't care. And I know I should care and I do care, but I don't care because at the end of the day, God's got my back, just like he's got yours. And you may think, yeah, that's easier said than done. You're right, because that's where it is. It's easier said than done. I understand that. But sometimes you have to just take your hands, put them up and say, I surrender because you're not strong enough to do anything else. And that's the reality of it. You can't do anything about this situation. You have to continuously Lay yourself down and say, God, you have to take care of this for me. And I'm counting on you to do it. And when you do that, and you do that repetitively every single day with the things that you can't control, you'll hopefully find some type of security in that. If you don't, then I guess you're just more neurotic than I thought you were. But reality is, we can't control what we're controlling, what we're trying to control. It's over, we're overcomplicating the process by way of additionalizing stresses on our life or adding in components that we think are going to lead us to more of a progression. And really, that's where the devil lies. The devil's lying in the details, guys. And he sits there and he lies there because he knows that we love to overcomplicate and overstimulate and overexacerbate and over and over and over and over and over again because that's what we define as progression. Really, it's a it's an element of ambition. We're climbing, we're climbing, we're adding, we're we're not subtracting, we're not refining when we should be. And that's the message here. You're adding when you should be refining and actually subtracting. Because reality is. The devil's going to prey on things that he knows you're not going to question. And he knows you're not going to question the addition of things, especially when they seem good, especially when they seem like they're deeming opportunities or they're, they're, they're presenting um, a level up or a step up. Haven't you ever seen celebrities and music artists 
go down the hill because of the money that they make and the fame that they orient? They're just adding, adding, adding. But because they're too, they're not resilient and they're not, they're not prepared before they get into that era, they end up falling. And I'm not saying that that's something that would happen to everybody because it doesn't. But I am saying that more is not necessarily better. And you learn that. You learn that when you lift. You learn that when you bodybuild. You learn that in business. You learn that in, in, in a lot of avenues in life. You learn that more is not better. If you measure something 27 times, is that better than if you were to measure it just four? It's not better. That's called obsession. And obsession to a certain regard is okay. To a certain standard is okay. But then just more is just overboard and it's over complication and it's and it's over exacerbation you're belaboring something more than you need to and it's causing more disconnect and actually more i would call it more dilution in and for the other for the things that you need to be actually predicating in your life the things that are actually making you a human being, you're losing sight of those. We all are. We're losing sight of them because we're trying to control and overcomplicate this process. Reality is we don't know what the future holds, but we know today. We know that we can eat. We know that we can work out if we, if we cho so choose. We know that we can, we can control our conversations and what we say to people, but we can't understand what the future holds. And we, if we're worried about that, I get it. But at the same time, you have to be able to go back to something. Your roots, your concrete, your anchor, your auger has to be in something. And that if you're lost, maybe it's because you don't have the faith that you have that you should have in God. You may think, oh man, but you can't see God, you can't talk to God. That's the point. You're not supposed to understand how this unfolds. God is a God of big, massive, supernatural things. But if you don't believe it, you will not receive it, period. And you're right. You're not going to be able to succumb to the principles that I succumb to. Because you're going to continuously question this whole entire process. Similar to when you question the process of trying to build your body, but don't know how to go about it. And you're trying to be pragmatic in areas that you shouldn't be pragmatic. You should, just be, you should just be applying force and action instead. But you're trying to figure out this process before it even starts. And the same thing is going on with you and your life. With you and your business potentially. With you and the way that you think you are going to maybe have kids. You see you're, you're holding back on having kids because you don't know how to... You don't know how to be the best parent or you're, you know, whatever. You're, you're complicating the process. You need to do, humans be, are their best when they, when they function off of action and then they fail. Because then they realize what works. And then they don't do that shit again. But if you continuously exacerbate and overcomplicate this process, you'll just be spinning your wheels, you'll get nowhere. And... You're going to cause a depression in the process. I know I'm talking about a lot of different things here. Let me simplify even this message. Put your faith in the thing you can't see, but that you know in your soul is real. Put your faith in God, knowing that he has your best interest. Don't put it in anything else because everything else is going to lead to overcomplication, which is going to lead to dysfunction. Every single time. And I know that you can reflect on your life right now and bring up areas or certain times and, 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 and seasons of your life that that's 
made itself pronounce. I know you can. We all have been there. And I'm telling you, the thing that reels me back in is just saying, I know you got me, God. I know you got me. I know you wouldn't bring me this far if you didn't have me. And I know that there's going to be something bigger and better that's going to come from this. I know that you are, that you, that you, your promises, I know that your promises, you don't go back on. I know that you're solid, even when I'm shaky. I know. And that's where I have to stop. I have to stop there. Always understand that the enemy loves to overcomplicate things. He loves to make things more complex and diluted for you because he knows that it'll get your mind off of simplification, which is where it should be every single day. God is simple. He really is. He's love. He's grace, he's mercy, <clears throat> so many other things, but very simple. He's not do this, but then this, and then a little of this, and then you get him. He's simple, which is how we should live. All of the answers are not in any self-help book. They're not in any 12 steps to your best life book. They're in the Bible. And here's a little factoid here. All of those self-help books, they're just extensions of the Bible in modern format. All of the answers are simple. You just have to be able to be strong and human enough to receive the simplicity of things and not overcomplicate this process. Done. <laughs>